Well, hello everyone. Uh, so I thought I'd do a couple of videos. Uh, this is going to be a short one, um, but considering the uh, current circumstances in the, the world today with the COVID-19 epidemic, a lot of companies are wanting to reach out to their customer base and the question might come, how do I leverage a list of my customers? So this is going to be a short video which explains how to extract an exhaustive list uh, of your uh, customers from SAP Business One. So very quickly, here's uh, the best thing to do, uh, or uh, could be the best thing to do depending on, on how you want to approach it. But if you just want an Excel dump of all of your customers, here's what you could be doing. So you go to the Tools menu, go to Queries, Query Generator, okay, and then you're going to get this blank query generator. Now the four letter code for the business partner table is OCRD. So in the top left hand corner in this box I want you to type OCRD and then hit tab. Okay and then all of the fields in the business partner master record are going to come up. Um, so this is going to be sort of the, this is not the exhaustive list of contacts. This is going to be the business partner master information. So, you know, customer code, customer name, default contact and default email address and default contact information um, in order to get the entire contact list. That would be a, a different query. But this will get you the sort of the master contact list. And we're going to do a longer video where in which I use the campaign generation wizard which is a better way to get the total list of contacts. So simply by typing OCRD in that field and exposing all of these fields we are essentially writing a query and you do not have to do anything else other than to hit this execute button and what happens is that it'll automatically write the query to dump all of these fields into a table. So if I click execute what happens is is that the query that's written in Business One is essentially select everything from the OCRD database table um, and there you go. So you can take this query now and you can click on the Microsoft Excel button in the top corner there and if I choose, I could choose comma separated values if I didn't want it formatted but I'll just choose Excel 2007 and then I'll say customer list. This is actually the list of all business partners. This is customers, vendors, and leads. But I'll just quickly say customer list and yes to a table. So just the first selection there. Okay, and then I just get a big dump of everyone and then you can just go ahead and you can filter and sort the table uh, based on on the column. So this is just Excel now. And if you're looking uh, to get just your customers, what I would recommend is that in this top role there's business partner type. And what I'd recommend is I would go to data filter and then when you engage the filter it'll slap a filter on the top column here. And for the business partner type column I would select so unselect lead, unselect S, which is supplier, and click OK, and you're just gonna get a list of your customers now. You know, and you've got customer group code. Some of these are codes, of course. So uh, again, we'll use the, the more sophisticated campaign manager if you're looking to refine things a little more. But the basic info is here. And we've got a contact name. Uh, we should have an email address in here somewhere. If we, am I missing it? We got telephone numbers, bill to, ship to, and there should be an email address for the contact in here somewhere as well. And if some of these fields are not relevant, uh, like the group or what have you, I would suggest just hiding them. And then you've got Excel. So there's a quick way to get a list of your customers, name of the customer, primary contact, uh, telephone, uh, like I say, email is in here uh, somewhere. Uh, there we go, there's the email, and there's the generic email on the contact, and away you go. It should be ready for you to, um, to use in whatever way that you'd like. Thanks for watching this quick video. Uh, watch the next one on the Campaign Generation Wizard if you're looking for something more exhaustive.